Hello everybody and welcome to 5 Minutes of Channel. In this video, I want to talk about a powerful solution that helps uh, to control security in your mainframe environment. Today, many companies leave the digital transformation phase of their IT environments. In many cases, mainframe still plays an important role in terms of security. But in general, the concept of security has changed during these years, moving its attention from the administrative task to the control task. And it is also true for ZOS systems. In fact, now it is included into the perimeter of a security operation center, the SOC. But uh, what is the matter or what is the concern of a CIO or a CISO regarding the mainframe security controls? Well, in general, they want to control the mainframe as any other platform with the same team, the SOC people, and using the same tool, the CM. Of course, this is a great achievement, but in case of ZOS, can it be sufficient to answer and resolve critical exposures, vulnerabilities, and malicious code? To be honest, we need a powerful tool that really helps the security team during the daily task, minimizing their effort and saving their time. And the security asks for automatic controls to collect and show security exceptions, security reports to analyze the security status of the system, security assessment to show the compliance with the standard or internal policy, and then CIM integration to collect and correlate security events from multiple platforms and from mainframe too. This secure audit is the product that provides these capabilities only in one. It is a component of the Z-Secure product family that improves the managing and efficiency of your mainframe security environment. I think that today there are just few mainframe customers that don't use a software tool like Z-Secure for security management and control. And it is available for RACF, SEF2, and top secret environments. The Secure Audit works with different inputs, named uh, data sources, and you have data from your security system, your security database, RACF, data that describe your system configuration, uh, the CK Freeze dataset, data describing events from your uh, SMF uh, records, data created by the access monitor uh, that is a component of Zsecure Admin and data from other logs types such as HTTP logs. From the input data source you can extract data using several kinds of standard security reports provided out of the box by the product, but you can also modify them in order to create a custom report. Essentially we have two types of reports that can be produced in general by the system and then by the secure audit. Static reports based on static data that changed not so frequently. For example, system parameter or security parameters and dynamic reports based on data that changes continuously because they include system and security events that are registered continuously by the system and we can consider both in using the secure audit. From static reports, you can start the analysis of your security server, RACF, and you can go in drill down to understand the reasons of the values extracted by the report. But you can also analyze your ZOS system parameters, for example, or your subsystem settings and definition, uh, for example, for CICS or TP2, and also for IMS, MQ, and so on. Dynamic reports are useful for investigation because they come from event sources such as SMF records or logs. With these reports, you can understand what happened on your system regarding a user or a resources. Obviously, to produce consistent reports, you need to check the SMF settings in order to be sure that you are tracking the system activities. This secure audit works with an SPF interface using panel skeleton and message library provided by the product. You don't have any task or service active in the system for this aim. So you will not consume additional CPU. ISPF is the only program running during a Z-Secure session. What is important to know is that any functions that can run in foreground mode can also run in batch mode. In fact, you can use the interactive panel 
to test and change the report format. When the foreground generated reports meets your needs, then you can select background processing from the panel and a new submit panel is displayed to browse or edit the generated JCL. And you can save the JCL as a job in order to run later based on a workload schedule. The batch method provides advantages from a security monitor perspective, as you can set up a batch job to automatically run a set of Z secure checks or reports every day, every week, every month, and so on. One of the most important functions of Z secure audit is the security assessment. It produces a comprehensive reporting with details on gap related to a specific compliance that could be a standard normative or a custom compliance audit policy. The reports are able to identify security exposures and concern, and they can indicate the path for a possible remediation. For example, you can asset the ZOS system status or the RACF status, and from the output report, you can go and drill down to see the details of the audit concerns with the associated risk priority that is based on the audit standard of USA Department of Defense, classified into C1, C2, and B1 level. But today we have uh, new standards such as PCI DSS, GSD, STIG, and Z Audit can help to have a compliant environment with these standards. There are a lot of tests ready to be used against these standards. And this is an example of this test regarding STIG, where you can see the priority level and you can see if the test was compliant or not compliant. And in case of not compliant, you can go and drill down to see the reason. The last important functionality included into Z Audit is the integration with an external CIM solution. By default, it can work with QRadar and ArcSight because of the standard format of the syslog produced by the product that are LEAF or CIF format. But you can also use it with other CIM that are able to understand these formats and most commonly the CIF format. With the audit, you can collect not only security events, but also system events that are SMF records that are stored on SMF offloaded data set or Sysman data set or directly on log stream. Then you can send them to the CIM. The CIM transform SMF events into a text format that the CIM application can process and adds information into this event that helps to interpret the data. Z Secure Audit can use two different methods to realize uh, the CM integration. Using the FTP file polling via batch. In this case, you can postpone the transmission processing to a less busy time. Then CIM can retrieve the events file according to the schedule that is configured on the CIM console. The second method is the real time using the Unix syslog protocol. Near real time is more suitable for CIM processing, but it also produces more overhead during peak period. With near real time, SMF feeds can be collected in two ways. Directly by using SMF in main feature available with ZOS 2.3 and later, it capture events in a near real time mode directly in memory. The second one is using the ZSecure SMF collector uh, that is a new started task available with ZSecure 2.4 version. Thank you for your attention. And if you want to know more on ZSecure modules, follow me in my next video. Bye bye from Luigi.